Hey guys, Melissa here from Bricks on the Loose, and we're back with Super Mario Strikers. So, um, last time we were in the middle of, let's go to the cup battles, we were in the middle of the Flower Cup. I won the first two games, like 13-2, to two, so I said I would just finish the cup for you guys and just continue on, because it was too easy. So I started continuing on, but like I seriously lost the next two games really bad. So I have a feeling I just had two easy teams. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the Star Cup on the same level and just go through it. Um, start a new Star Cup. I didn't actually start it, but... Okay, so we are going to do Professional. Since Professional, like, some teams can be really hard and some can be really easy. And the fact that you need to be first to win the Cup, I'm just going to leave it at pro Professional. We can up it maybe the next Cup. Which Cup? Being between 5 and 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to leave it at 10. In the future, I might do 5 because the matches are just so long. And then it's off... Wario, Koopa. Wario will stop at absolutely nothing to win the match. So first up, it's against Daisy. See, there's a lot of matches, so this might take a few episodes, but that's okay. Player one to Wario. Fix my mic there. So, yeah, this is going to be pretty awesome. Oh yeah, we're at... What's, it, what's this place called? I don't even know what this place is called. It has nice green grass, but a pretty ugly surrounding, I'd say. Okay, let's see how this game goes. So today's topic is, like, I said I'd have a topic for each round. Today's topic is... Oh, we're lagging up. We're lagging up here a bit. Oh, why is it lagging? Why is it lagging? That's not good. We're running at 83%. Uh... Okay, let me just, uh, see if I can, uh, turn any programs off. I'll be right back. Okay, so I, that should be good now. That should be good. So, uh, we're at the... After, I, I didn't, you didn't miss much, I just paused it right away. So, yeah, today's topic is driving. So, I actually haven't told my friends this yet, because I didn't want them to be like, Oh, Melissa, when's your test? Whatever. But am I actually taking my driving test this afternoon? So that's pretty crazy, actually. Um... Yeah, like, I took my, for those who, okay, for those who don't live in Canada and have no clue what I'm talking about, so there's a G1, G2, and G. So, to get your G1, you have to be 16, you go into a room, and you take a written test, which is basically like, what does this sign mean? What does a stop sign mean? How fast can you go on a 70 mile per hour road? It's just boring stuff like that. It's pretty easy. They throw some trick questions in you, so like, most people get like, one wrong. Some people fail it, I don't want to make you feel bad if you failed it, but it's pretty easy. Like, those who don't fail it, don't study for it, and don't bother studying, so that's how that test works. And after you get, after you pass that test, you get your G1, and then you can drive in the car with someone who has lots of driving experience in the passenger seat. So you cannot drive alone, but you can drive with someone who has four years of driving experience. And then, uh, one year after you get your G1, you get you can, you can try to get your G2. So what you do to get your G2 is you go in a car with an instructor, and for 15 minutes you just drive around and they mark you on like, come on, come on, come on. Okay. They mark you on like parallel parking skills. They mark you if you can stop before they before the line. They mark you if you can merge with traffic, and they do all this stuff. And then if you pass the 15 minute test, you get your G2. And with your G2, you can drive by yourself anywhere. The only restriction is okay, come on, just score, 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 score. The only restriction is what, what is it? Are you serious? The only restriction is you can't drive with any alcohol in your blood, and you can't drive like a whole party full of van uh, friends around. You can drive one friend around, but no more, because they don't want you partying in the back seat. So after you get your G2, um, you need to get your G. Now your G is just total, total license. So you and you have to get that four years after your G2, I believe. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the. G so you start with your G, you get your G1, then you get your G2, and then you get your G, and you're done. So currently, I have my G1. And I'm trying to get my G2 today. I don't even know what's going on in this game. So I'm trying to get my G2 today. So apparently it's pretty easy. It depends, like, a lot of my friends fail it. And actually, I live in Brampton, which is kind of near Toronto in Canada. Um, oh no. Thank you, Gold. So, in the city I'm taking it, actually 51% of the kids that take it fail. 
It's not because it's a hard station, it's just because people in Brampton are just bad drivers. That's just weird. So, I mean, 51% of the people fail, I believe. So, I mean... So, I mean, if I fail, I'm just joining half the people that take it. But, I mean, the only way to really fail is to, like, make a ton of little mistakes, or, like, miss a stop sign, or speed through a school zone, that kind of thing. So we need to actually get a goal here, guys. We can't just keep talking. So yeah, I'm pretty nervous for that. I mean... Yeah, I'm pretty nervous. I was gonna take it on January 7th, but it was like negative 20, 26 outside, so they just said, oh, it's too cold to take it. Whoa, did you see that, guys? Did you see that? He just totally missed the ball. It was too cold outside, so they said, oh, we're canceling it. I was like, what? Too cold? You can't cancel a road test because it's too cold. But they did. So I was really nervous for that. We go there and we're like, what? I was nervous for nothing? So now, kind of like, it's uh, two weeks after, I got more driving experience, and I'm just way less scared. I mean, yeah, I hope my friends don't actually watch this. I, mean, I haven't even told them. They're gonna be like, you told, you told YouTube, but you didn't tell us? Oops. I don't want them to be like, oh, Melissa, when did you test? Did you fail? Yeah. But I'll tell you guys, because you guys don't know me. Oh, I tried to pass that. What to do? What to do? So, yeah, I'm taking that test today. I'm not as nervous as, as I was before. It is a bit cold, so I'm kind of worried that the windows are going to fog up. That's my biggest worry, is that my windows are going to fog up. Yeah. Okay, dude. Okay, we didn't swear. So, I mean, everyone's like, my, I took driver's ed, so basically, they, te they teach you how to drive, this guy picks you up and you drive with him for an hour. Um, I mean, he said I was gonna fail, I mean, he didn't say I was gonna fail, he said I'd pass, like, halfway through my lessons, he's like, yeah, I've got nothing else to teach you, you're gonna pass. So, I mean, as far as I know, I'm gonna pass, unless I, like, don't see a stop sign and I speed through it, or I kill somebody, that would also be a possibility. So, yeah. This game seems to lag up when I'm near the goalies. Anyways, pass, shoot, score, nope. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. I mean, game would be pretty awesome. I don't have a real need for it right now. Just more in the summer when I want to drive myself to my soccer games. So. Hey. Hey. Nope. Nope. Yes. Let's go. Pass the ball! Uh, it's it's with two one right. Okay. Uh, they could still score really easily actually. I need to stop being. I need to focus on the game. So I can parallel park. I can do everything. It just it's kind of nervous. You just have to get it over and done with. You know what I mean? You just have to do it and get it over and done with. So as you can see, like I'm not beating like crazy, crazy. I find later in the tournament, like, as the tournament goes on, they get harder and harder as well. So, I'm not gonna, like... And, and you need to get first. You need to win pretty much every game to get this... Okay, doodle. Oh, why did I... I... And I notice my habits are... Is I, I tackle people too much. Because I often, like... It's great to tackle people in this game, but I find... Ugh. But I find if you tackle someone, you can, like... Oh, oh that, that's a lob. So you press B and Y at sync. I mean B and X. Or B and L, whatever the button is, I don't even know. So like you know a lob like a lob pa a lob pass? It's the same but instead of passing you press the shoot button. Okay, cool. That's how they keep scoring on me. They get breakaways and then they do this lob. I'm like, how do you do the lob? How do you do it? Okay, four minutes left, three to one. This game can drastically drastically change. Oh my Why did I pass it in front of the net when my goalie was dizzy? Yeah. I find the other Koopas can always run faster than me. I'm not sure why this is, but... Okay, okay. No passing in front of the net. Let's just tackle him. Get him. Oh, I also need to get some windshield fluid so I can, like, wash my windshields today. Can't forget to do that, and I want to, like, practice some stuff, but... Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. how's this not going? How? how? I want to watch replays, but I can't. Okay. okay, let's go. Let's go. Spam that kick button! 
Okay. So. Oh no. Good job, girl. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of y'all. Yes, I'm trying not to think too much about my test today. I'm glad I'm not as nervous as I was before. Okay. I need to learn when he's dizzy to, to shoot in the net faster and not worry about trampling people. Because basically, if you get a shot on while he's dizzy, you, you, you get a goal, so that's what I need to practice on. And I have a lot of things to practice on. Be careful when tackling, because you can tackle in the wrong position and give a lot of space in between you and the bad guy. Uh, I need to work on my lob shot. Um, just like when I'm on a breakaway, do a lob, sh lob, bleh, a lob shot. Uh, what else? Again, tackling, they can get around me too easy, especially later in the later levels. They just like deke you like it's no big deal. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Yeah, I watched a lot last night. Uh, and the order of the phoenix. Okay, pass, shoot, not score. Okay. Oh, another thing about driving, since we have two minutes left of this time. I mean, again, I'm explaining this like you guys don't live in Canada, since I know a lot of you live in the U.S. who watch me. So I'm just, like, explaining things here. Um, nice. Um, there's something called driver's ed here. I assume you have it in the U.S., but driver's ed, you basically sit in the classroom for like a few days and listen to non-stop boringness. Um, and then you have like a few in-car lessons, so basically just someone- Oh, I should do a lob shot now. Someone drives you around and gives you like all these things like you do this wrong, you do this wrong, you should work on this, and all that stuff. So, yeah, if you take driver's ed, you get cheaper insurance. Um, it's, it's a lot cheaper for boys, not that much cheaper for girls, because girls already get cheaper insurance. And then there's also, um, you get to take your G2 test earlier. So normally you have to wait a, a year after your get your G1 before you take your G2. But because I took driver's ed, I can get it earlier. So my birthday's on February 20, and I got my G1 on March, like, let's just say March 10. So normally I can't take my G2 test until March 10, but because I took driver's ed, I can take it now, which is two months before March 10. Nice. So that's just how it works. I can just take it earlier. Normally I'd have to wait to March 10. It's not a big deal. I know some people who have a job and they really need to drive themselves, so that's why they take driver's ed to get it earlier, and I mean, of course the insurance and stuff. But I mean, that's not my case. It was more the cheaper insurance, and my parents just wanted me to know what was going on, so... Whoa. Yeah, see how he took a shot just because he knew my goalie was incapable of stopping anything? Okay, what, what, wait, what was that? Pass. Okay. Oh, wait, why didn't you pass it to Wario? Heh. <laughs> I just hit both of them out with one body. Pass, pass. Oh no. Why did I pass to Okay. Yeah, you put the balls right there. Okay. Aww, why didn't it go in? Okay. So those don't work unless the goal is like really far out of his net, I'm pretty sure. I know in soccer, like, he, of course you don't want to do a lob shot if he's right in the net. So if he's like out, you know, from farther away maybe? I don't know. How does, how does the computer get it in like every time they do a lob shot? I think so far they've done three lob shots this game, maybe, and they got two of them. Okay, Wario wins! Five to one. I know that was an easier level, but I mean, okay, they do get harder. Or they just go easier when I'm recording because I try harder when I'm recording. I don't even know. So, match highlights number three. Cool shot, hit the post, and bounced in. That was cool. I actually had a shot um, last game. The, uh, there's a Koopa standing on the inside of the net, so it. it Went in the net, crossed the line, but bounced off a of Koopa, so it didn't look like it went in, but it actually counted. It was kind of cool. That was the highlight of the match. And hit it with, like, both feet. Nice. Okay, so goals, I had five, she had one. Total shots, I had a lot more total shots. Total hits, as you can see, I like hitting people more than Daisy does. Steals, I really don't know how to steal. If you know how to steal, let me know in the comment section below. Super strike, I turn those off. And perfect passes, that's how I like to score goals with perfect passes.
but I need to work on not always passing. I don't know. Pyridemic Award! Silver Award! What? Sweet. Total hits and cut matches, 618. I've hit 618 people! Nice. 1,000 for gold. I bet 1,000 is coming real soon. Maybe in two games? I don't know. Okay, let's see how people did here. So, Donkey Kong. Mario. Okay, next is Mario. Cool. The ketchup versus mustard round. Okay, so thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss the next episode. Or leave a thumbs up so I know you like this kind of stuff. And check back later. Have an awesome day, and see you guys later. Bye.